Audio Jungle. Thank you very much. The state is run by PDP, but not controlled by PDP, unfortunately. This is the problem that we have found ourselves in as a party and as governors. The governor of River State is our vice chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. And uh, of course, he is still with us. He is still a PDP man. And I have to come on behalf of the governors to show solidarity to him for this very proactive democratic instinct that he developed, which is a new uh, manifestation in the political arena in Nigeria, where he had to incentivize, he has to develop strategy to be able to deliver governance, irrespective of party allegiance or partisan consideration. He didn't have the structure of the party in the state for certain reasons, and he had had to go out and make sure he allows other parties to participate within the political space so that there won't be any vacuum. And I think this is very auspicious, that is very, very creative, and I'm very, very proud of him. And I said, yes, we have lost as a party, and that is why we are running from this. Again, he has established himself as a governor and the pride of all the governors of Nigeria. At the subnational level, you cannot just ignore a governor. A governor is the chief executive. He can do anything. He can spring surprises. Because the Nigerian state is run by governors at the subnational level. Even the federal government is a tenant. Nigerians live in the states and in local governments. And that's why what he did to me was very, very proactive and creative, irrespective of the fact that he knew his party would lose. But certainly, because of his deep democratic instincts, he had to allow the other parties to win. And I would just wish that those who have won will find it in their own modesty to give him support because he is not doing it with any string or asking them to do anything. Let him, the APP, uh, and him have that relationship so that he can govern. As a person, I had a similar situation in 2019. I governed a state where only nine are members in the assembly, and he's still doing that. So, of course, his political sagacity has come to a level where he has become a specimen for democratic studies in Nigeria. And that is the more reason I'm here. Uh, Governor Pubara is the vice chairman. Mo all the governors are with him. And certainly we are taking steps to ensure reconciliation. Reconciliation with somebody whom they have started with, the former governor of this state and the minister of FCT, is a must because certainly they have come a long way. And we didn't want to throw away the baby with the bathwater. And certainly the governors are with the governor because this is our own tradition and fraternity. At the same time, out of our own political history as a party who has history of governance, we are still stretching an arms of reconciliation to his mentor, to his friend and brother, and also our colleague. Thank you very much. Audio jump.